too. Vegas is a lot of things for a lot of people, but for me, it's home to an amazing team helping make sure you never have to gamble when it comes to a good meal at one of our restaurants. I recently went for a special visit to celebrate the 10-year anniversary of two of my places there, Otto Pizzeria and B&B Ristorante. Here's a behind-the-scenes look. might be in New York City, but I'm always traveling around the world to check out my restaurants. And we are in Las Vegas, where I have four restaurants. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. It ain't going to be that way this weekend, my friends. Yeah. Hello, ladies. I came up with B and B Burger. Why did we do it, Zach? We decided to take our great trimmings that we have for our steakhouse, mix it with a little bit of brisket, a little bit of chuck, and end up with a perfect burger. How many burgers would we make in a busy day? 12 to 1,600 burgers. In one day? In one day. Look at this. This entire piece of equipment is only to toast buns. One of the things that makes me so excited is that this is our only hamburger restaurant. I think about this almost more than any of my other restaurants. All right, what's on this one? That's our six ounce beef burger, egg, truffle aioli, caramelized mushrooms, and a little bit of mayo. Mmm, <laughs> the truffles are delicious. This is as good as life gets for me. Having a great time in Vegas, living large. This is our top secret storage facility that no one ever gets to see. What's more important, however, is the aging facility right here, which is behind this door. This is where the meat from Carnivino lives. Carnivino is our fabulous Italian-style steakhouse in Las Vegas. How much meat do we have in here? Over 60,000 pounds right now. 60,000 pounds. We bring in about 6 to 8,000 pounds a week. Wow. And the aging process is what allows the water to evaporate from the meat, leaving intense flavor, adding a note of blue cheese or gorgonzola to it by leaving only fat and protein behind. Say you ordered a New York strip here. How old would it be if I ordered it tonight? 115 days. Phase two, boys and girls. These are the reservas, so this guy will live here for another eight months. So this, if you were not prepared, you might think, oh my God, this is dried out, this is wrecked. For those that like the aged beef experience, this is the Sistine Chapel of beef. San Marco, this is our last stop of the day, and we are at Oto. Here we serve salami, formaggi, fantastic pizzas, calzones, pastas. It's a festive experience. Downstairs at B&B Ristorante, it's more like an elevated trattoria. Zach, Nicole, we've had a fine first 10 years. Let's have another 40 more. Chin Chin, my friends. <laughs> I consider myself pretty relatively beef savvy. And those eight month aged steaks, the first time I ate them with you, it, it was, it was like a game changing experience. I've never eaten beef like that in my life. Truly never eaten beef. How like does that, that aging work? So it looks like that outer layer is not. Uh, it's gone to blue. It almost looks like mold. Yeah. Okay. And what that does is it's, it's the water evaporating and it's creating intense flavor inside. So you trim off that blue, that but one. you don't keep trimming it. You want it to develop one single crust so that it gets this rich aged flavor on the inside. And it is not for everybody. If you're not ready for that intensive experience, stick with a younger steak. But yeah. there's just a thousand ways to get into it. It's really a good yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah. And the trim from that is what contributes to making that burger place so delicious. Wow. Okay, let me add one more question. Can you overage it? Well, at a certain point, it dries up almost okay. so hard. And it's, I don't know, we've taken it to like 340 days, and I could still enjoy that, but maybe one or two bites. Yeah. It's really rich at that point. Yeah. It gets so rich. Like the one time that we went there for your fundraiser and we ate the, I think, the eight month old yeah. ones, it was like a ribeye. You have two slices, you're full, because it's so intense and so Time to rich. go home. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, Carl is whipping up a refreshing summer.